Hey everyone, if this was your face when you saw that you couldn't install Windows 11 on your computer, don't worry, you can, but with a few caveats. But before we start with the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So let's jump into the video. So going back to the question, can I install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware? Windows 11 is not supported on all PC hardware configurations. But this doesn't mean that you are installing a bomb into your computer. Microsoft has made some changes to the requirements for installing Windows operating systems, such as mandatory secure boot and TPM 2.0. This is why Microsoft doesn't recommend installing Windows 11 on unsupported devices. So there's no guarantee that such devices will receive updates. These are some of the consequences you have to bear in mind before installing Windows 11 on your unsupported PC, as no one will take responsibility for any damage done to your device or data. Also, if your computer does not meet the requirements, you might be able to install Windows 11, but it won't be supported. You may also need to bypass several built-in security measures and checks. So, in order to install Windows 11, your computer must meet all of the following system and hardware requirements. 1 GHz or faster on a suitable 64-bit processor or system on a chip with two or more cores. At least 4 GB of RAM is required. 64 GB of storage space is required. 8 bits per color channel, high-definition display, 9 inches or larger monitor, TPN 2.0, UEFI firmware, and secure boot capability. So, to install Windows 11 in an unsupported PC, you have to go to the following website. I will leave you a link in the description of the video. Here, you have to scroll down until you see Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Select Windows 11 and click on Download. Now, you will have to choose a language and now click on confirm. Finally, you will have to click on 64-bit download and click on save. While downloading, we have to open the registry editor, type in registry editor in the search bar and select the best match option. Now, we have to go to a specific location, this location I am showing you. I will leave you the exact location in the description of the video, so you can copy that and paste it. Then you have to create a new value, a DWORD 32-bit value, and name it exactly like this. Allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Again, I will leave you the text so you can copy and paste it. Then you have to double-click the value we just created and put the number 1 here and click OK. And now you can close the registry editor. Once the download is complete, you have to click on the file and mount the ISO file. I am using Diamond Tools in order to mount the image in my computer. Once the image is mounted, you have to click on Run Setup and install Windows 11. So all you have to do now is wait and follow the on-screen indications to install Windows 11 on your computer. And that was all for today, yes, you now can celebrate because you are able to install Windows 11 on your computer. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions let me know in the comments. If you want to keep watching and learning from our videos, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.